Gobit.org. Using curl and IP chicken, I'm going to show you how to grab your public IP address and output it at the command line. So we can use a web browser and we can visit ipchicken.com and that's going to give us our public IP address. But what if we want that right inside the terminal? Well, we can use a curl command and that will grab the web page. But it'll output the entire web page back in the terminal and that's really more than what we want to deal with. So what we can do is curl and grab the web page and then output that to grep. And using grep and some regular expressions, we'll grab just the data string that matches the IP address pattern. And we'll grab the first instance of that, which is what this tack M is doing. So let's grab our one liner here, paste it in. And we can see that it's grabbing just the IP address for us. Well, let's create a quick script to do that so we can pull it up anytime we want instead of typing out that whole big statement. So I'm going to create a script folder in my home directory. Inside the scripts folder, I'll create a file called IP Chicken. We'll paste our one liner in there. and then make it executable. Now, we can run our IP chicken script and get a result. Script works. Let's add it to our bash profile so that we can call it from anywhere. So I ran nano.bash profile and we are just going to add this path statement which will append the scripts folder to our existing path. And since I just changed the bash profile I'll need to close this terminal session and open another one for it to take effect. And no matter where we are in the system we should now be able to call our IP chicken script. Now the nice thing about this is if we want to use our IP chicken script. Now that it's scriptable, we can output it to something useful, like cow say.